All right, good morning. It's 7.07 .07 right now. We're up and out. I'm going to the park to do my runs, get them done early, get them done in general. I've got to do 12 lap, uh, eight laps in 12 minutes at the football pitch. Last time, took around 10 minutes 30. Should be decent. So welcome to the video. I hope you enjoy. Done on the way home now. Good run, how'd you go on time? 10.25, beating my last time for five seconds. I'm gonna try get, before we go back, under 10 minutes. I think I would have beaten my time by a bit more if I hadn't had the ankle injury. But the fact that I still beat it after having a short time out is good. Exactly the same walk, just a few hours later. I'm looking forward to the rest day tomorrow, man. My legs are gonna be knackered after the day. Let's get into this first training session. So today's training session was a control based in the morning, that is anyway. So I was trying to work on my first touch, my passing and my receiving, and just touching in space because I identified it as a weakness. So that's what I'm trying to work on. As you can see, my warm up here, just doing a Ronaldinho drill. I'm knocking a few cones over, but if you're not knocking cones over when you're doing this drill, you're not doing it fast enough. Simple as, you've got to push yourself in order to improve. So without knocking cones over, you're not pushing yourself. So we just moved into the first little warm up exercise here, it was just one touch passing against the wall. Uh, I'm not really trying to get it anywhere. My aim was to get it between those two little things on the wall not even sure what they are but it didn't really matter if it didn't go in there there's a little bobble that it will bounce up off so it's like hard to control but you have to deal with it and that's match realistic so I just dealt with it and we're just doing one touch passing off the wall and then after that we just moved into two touch passing obviously pass touch and then pass with the other foot again so this is pretty much exactly the same just getting used to the passing and controlling off the wall and just warming up so it's a very hot day today so i took my top off here is a simple one again you just pass it against the wall scan your shoulder and you can tap it around the cone 
and then pass again on the other side. You're just trying to pass with one touch, tap around the cone. Very simple. So the next drill, we're just passing, taking a touch to the right or left, depending on which way it's coming you. You're just gonna push it out and then pass again. And then once you hit one end, you're just gonna switch sides. Now I was doing this with the outside of my boot. boot. This time I was just touching it, pushing it slightly. And then the next one, I'd push it through the next one and then switch sides at the end. The next drill, slightly more confusing, but it's still quite simple, is basically sized touches. So you're going to pass off the wall and touch it so that you can pass through the middle cones. And then once you've got that, you then pass it back so that it comes at the start where you were. And you can then pass right at the end cone, taking your touch to two different types and sizes. So next I just moved into the same drill I was doing earlier where you just push it along and then pass through the next gate but I was just touching it with the inside of my foot this time rather than using the outside. And then once again we have the two different sized touches but we're just using the outside of my foot here so as you can see this is probably a better angle than the last one we just push it twice as far on the second pass So the final drill I have here is just inside the foot turn, so I'm turning using the inside of my foot to take it across my body. Now this was the final drill we did today, I'm just trying to get it either side of the cones and the session lasted about an hour and a half, so very good session. As I did say, this was kind of my weakness, which is why I'm going to be doing a lot more sessions like this in the future. Okay, so I'm back from training now. I've just showered up. I'm gonna do about an hour of editing and then I'm gonna have lunch and then I'm gonna go back out for the second training session before we can then just start to slowly chill out. All right, so I've just finished editing. I've posted on my Instagram, so my football Instagram. So if you haven't followed that, go check it out. It's Tom Allen Football. And also if you're not following my private Instagram, go follow that as well. That's Tom underscore Allen dot underscore. We love falling deeper Drown ourselves in all that goes on You say fear the reaper I say bring him on You probably follow I'm on the new wave You're looking hollow I found a new way Show me how you do Tell me how you feel Cause you say you're living fine all the time But I know what's real and it's all the same 
So, really fun. My legs are now numb after being that for 20, 25 minutes. So I'm now gonna hop in the shower, I'm gonna wash, but also I'm gonna get my legs like to, with the hot water to then get the blood reflowing back it back into the muscles to freshen them up. This legacy, you gon' see what's left of me. You gon' see success in me. You ain't seen the rest of me. I just wanna be the best at what I know. Better than the rest, just watch me grow. Put me to the test and watch me go. This is my quest, I'ma make it known. They call me obsessive, oh I know. Call me selective with my notes. Call me aggressive with my flow. Call me offensive even though. Joe, I ain't gonna lie, life's tough. Try to get by, life's rough. Try to do it right, it's not enough. To be honest, I've been back from the walk and now I'm just chilling because I have nothing left to do. Tomorrow's a rest day, so I'm just going to chill for a bit. If I do anything else, I'll let you guys know. Up, but I'm still gonna fight for what I love Still gonna die for what I love Still gonna try, I won't give up Still gonna fight until I've won They say I'm way too upset